Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to use the Morphe Jaclyn Hill eyeshadow palette to create a really pretty fall, it's not fall at all, halo eye look. So I'm not sure how much fallout this eyeshadow palette has, so I already went ahead and put some loose setting powder under my eyes just in case there's enough fallout to where my foundation could have been ruined. And I also set my eyeshadow primer with some of my loose setting powder because this doesn't really have a color that I would like to use to set my eyeshadow primer. But for my transition, I'm going to grab this third shade right here and it's called Silk Cream. And now I'm going to grab a crease brush and I'm going to go into the shade Jada and I'm going to apply that all over my crease. And I'm going to blend this color in using windshield wiper motions and I also am going to slowly build it up. For the crease itself, I don't want to use too much blue because it is going to be a halo eye. I want to concentrate in the inner and the outer corners. So I'm just going to build it up a little bit and then I'm going to grab a different brush to work on the corners. For my inner and outer corner, I'm going to grab a smaller brush. This is a more precise brush and I'm going to keep working with Jada. And since this is going to be a halo eye, I am going to keep the center of my lid blank. And I am going to do the same thing with the outer corner, just packing color on. But when I, once I get over here, I am going to try to do this type of action so that I can create a cat eye also so I can give the eyeshadow some shape and not bring it down too far. And now with a clean blending brush, I'm going to go back into my crease and blend some more. Now I'm going to apply a small amount of concealer on the middle of my lid or the center of my lid and this is just to help cancel out that Jada shade so that I can apply the shade I'm going to use in the center. And the concealer that I'm using is the Maybelline Fit Me in the shade Medium. And I'm using my finger just to blend the concealer out a little bit more and I'm going to go ahead and set it with the shade Silk Cream. Just a light tap on the concealer so that it does not crease. Now I'm going to grab the shade Little Lady and I'm going to apply that all over where I place the concealer. So I'm going to focus it in the center of my lid.
And now with a smaller blending brush, I'm going to go back into the shade Jada and I'm going to blend around the shade Little Lady. And I'm going to only blend around the edges, obviously, of where I put Little Lady. Trying to keep the center as pink as possible, so I'm going to avoid the center and I'm going to try to keep the blue all on the outside edges. And this way, the pink shimmers from Little Lady will fade into Jada. And if you look at it closely, it'll be more blended instead of just that bold look of when I first applied it, if that makes sense. This step will also help blending out any concealer edges that you might have missed while applying the shade Little Lady. And I'm also noticing that because, because I'm mixing in the little lady shimmers into Jada, it makes it look like there's an ombre effect or a dual chrome type of effect in the shade Jada because it is blue and you see the blue or the shade of Jada. But once the light hits certain parts of your eyeshadow where little lady is not concentrated, for example on the outsides and not the center of the lid, you can see that golden pinky champagne rose gold type of color too. I'm going to go back into the shade Jada with a smudging brush and I'm going to smudge that all over my lower lash line. And just for the fun of it, I'm going to grab the shade Little Lady with my finger and I'm going to apply it right here so I could form the halo effect on my lower lash line. I got that all over my contact. And now I am going to try to blend that out using the same small blending brush that I used to blend the edges of the shade Little Lady on the lid. And I am not adding any more product to this brush. It just has the leftover products from when I, from when I worked on the lid. I'm really pleasantly surprised that this palette does not have fallout. I used the mattes and I used the shimmer and I did not get any fallout from either color. So I'd say the first step where I put the translucent powder all over my under eye area was completely unnecessary because like I said there was no fallout and this was the first time using the palette so I wasn't sure about the fallout but you're safe. Or at least, at least with these colors that I used today there was no fallout. I'm going to go back into the shade Silk Cream and I'm going to blend that all on my lower lash line under the shade Jada. I'm also bringing it up here so it can clean up this edge. For brow bone and inner corner highlight, I'm going to use the shade Beam. And now I'm going to blend that out using a clean brush. Without blending, I feel like the highlight on my brow bone is too strong. I already finished my face makeup, set my eyebrows, and set my 
face makeup using the D Slick Setting Spray by Urban Decay. So now I am going to go ahead and fill in my tight line using the Essence Long Lasting Eye Pencil in the shade Black Fever and I might put it in my waterline too, but I'm not too sure about that so we'll see. Okay, so I also decided to add that liner into my waterline and I set it using the black shade in the palette, the shade Abyss. And now, I'm after curling my lashes, I'm going to go ahead and apply the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes mixed in with the Lash Paradise Mascara. Now for lips, I'm going to line them using the Paula Dio Lip Liner in the shade Natural. And I'm first going to apply the liquid lipstick by Kat Von D in the shade Double Dare and then on top of that I'm going to apply Bow and Arrow. That is it for this video you guys, thank you for watching and I know it's fall but hey, a little turquoise blue type of eyeshadow never hurt anybody and this eye look I think looks really cool. So if you like color just feel free to wear whatever you want, don't follow the rules, it's cool just. You can wear blue in fall, you'll be fine. And you can wear burgundy in summer and spring and you'll be fine. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in my next video.